Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to construct a component bar chart in a graph paper. For two dimensional graphical representation, we have two axes, one is horizontal and one is vertical. On horizontal axis, uh, it, we have positive and negative values and on vertical axis, we also have po some positive and some negative values. Horizontal axis is known as x axis and uh, which is or we can say that uh, axis which contains independent variable values or on vertical axis mm, we known as y axis which also which we can consider for dependent variables here are graphs divided into these vertical uh, vertical and horizontal lines make four quadrants the, in this quadrant, we have all positive values, which means all positive values for X and all positive values for Y. In second quadrant, we have negative values for X and positive values for Y. On third quadrant, we have negative values for X as well as negative values of Y. Where in fourth quadrant we have positive values for x but negative values for y. Here I am going to use the similar data which I have used in my previous video for component bar chart. So in our data we have all our positive values so we will simply enlarge our first quadrant in which there are all positive values either it's of x-axis or it's of y-axis simply enlarge your first quadrant on graph paper make vertical axis on extreme left and draw horizontal axis on extreme bottom named them as x axis and y axis now we need to scale our graph as we can see that in our data the largest value is 300 so we will scale our graph with the maximum value of 300 here you can see a lot of small squares so after every 10 square let us consider 50 units 50 100 150 200 250 and 300 on the x-axis we will take group or here we have year of studies which is first second third and fourth and now we are going to construct component bar charts for number of students in different year of studies we will construct a graph for boys first and then girls here in the first year, the number of boys are 250. Let's write first here. Second here. Third here. And fourth here. Make sure the width of your graphs is all the bars is similar now we are going to draw a bar for boys who are studying in first year which are 250 250 is here we will take width of almost seven small squares it's up to you either you want which size of graph or which width of graph you do you want
In second year, the number of boys are 220. 200 is this and as our 10 small squares is equals to 50, which means our 1 small square is equals to 5 units. 1 small square is equals to 50 divided by 10, which is equals to 5 units. We need 220 here. Let us start from here. 200 and 4 boxes up for 220. Oops. Let's forget it. It's a human error. In third year, we have 80 boys. Fifty, two boxes, sixty, two boxes, seventy, and another two boxes makes eighty. In fourth year, we have seventy boys. Fifty, sixty. And 70. Here we have constructed separate bars for boys who are studying in different year of study. Now we are going to construct bars for girls who are studying in different years and we will construct this graphs for girl above the bars of boys so it will look like a subdividend bar chart or component bar chart in the first year we have 50 girls at 50 in 250 which makes 300 In second year, we have only 30 girls, which makes sum of 250. Just add, add, and simply make a bar. In third year, we have only 20, and in fourth year, we have only 10 students. First, we will construct a bar for third year girl students, which are 20, makes a sum of 100. In fourth year, only 10 girls, which makes a sum of 80. Now, here you can mention as well, which portion of bar is for boys and which portion is for of bar is for girls as we represent in our previous graph lines for boys and dots for girls here I am going to mention same as well but if you want you can represent them with any color of your choice or with any other pattern for boys simply draw lines And for girls, the same pattern, which is this. Also mentioned here for boys, so a common man understand easily this. And for girls, this. Hope you understand how to construct a component bar chart on graph paper. Now take an, any kind of data and make it yourself.
for practice because practice makes a man perfect thank you